So sorry for that, oh, mm, the interruption there. So this is what we are doing before uh, we interrupt it and we are going to complete it. So let me just delete it and start afresh so I can explain to you what it is. So what we are saying is that we want to get a list of all the locations. The list of all the locations is in the repository or call it in the database. So JPA gets this list of locations, let's say, is a record set, a list of records uh, as a record set. It returns it to our application, let's say to the business service, as an iterable, meaning that you can iterate through it, but not as a list. We need to convert it to a list of location, right? We need to convert it to a list of location objects, and in this way we'll be able to return it to the controller. So to do that, we create an empty list of location and then I trade through this record set, uh, if you can call it that way, returned from J by JPA from the repository, we I trade through this record set and for each item, we uh, populate this empty list that we created. So let's just do it. So it's a list of location, uh, let's call it locations, is equal to, is equal, is equal to new, array list so this is an empty list so <clears throat> the next thing we are going to do is to just just uh, return a, a list of locations we need to return locations from the location repository so simply say location repository dot find all <coughs> this time say dot for each and then for each of the item return add it to the location to the li locations list we created all right so this locations list is the same as this so we are saying for each record returned from the e treble uh add it to the location list so how do you convert this record to a location object to instances of the location that is done automatically by JPA. So that's the beauty of it. So just simply return location, return locations. So this time, all right. <coughs> so far, so good. So this is about the location service. So we can do the same thing for the user service. In this case, I'll just copy everything and paste it there. Permit me to reduce the so for the user service, I'm going to just copy everything and see. So I'm going to open the user service, although I, there's something there, so it's easier for me to just delete whatever is there, um, delete whatever is there and paste what is what I have, right? <coughs> okay, so the same for the post service. In this case, I also copy everything so for you, it's better, maybe uh, instead of copying and pasting, you can actually be typing out the method. I recommend you type out the method by yourself. And that's why the more you type, the more it becomes clearer to you. So coming to the post service, so I'm going to delete everything as well. And I'm going to paste it, paste the, 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 the code. So the two things I want you to take note of is the fact that we created a private uh, variable, member variable in the business service. This private member variable is of the repository uh, class. We are trying to auto-wire the repository into the business service. The business service, so, so you have to just call it, uh, just annotate it with an auto-wire annotation. Okay, fine. So what are we forgetting? Why do we have error in this place? I'm going to save everything. Mm -hmm. So let's see, error is coming. Uh, next type, type, post service cannot hide and closing type. Oh, okay. So we have an error in this place. So I'm going to just delete this. And I'm going to just remove one more of this. So basically everything is done. So let me shift this out. Auto wired, that's we add the import statement. Okay, we have error here, get all posts. 
get all posts. Okay, for posts, let's see. Post service, we have get all posts. Everything is okay. So it should not give us error. Okay, so all errors are gone now. <coughs> so let's see what nice to do. So in this case, I'm going to just maximize the work page or the procedure page. So if we test this application, there will be error. The reason there will be error is that um, we have not actually created the uh, entity relationship between these the items, between the classes. So if I go ahead to test, maybe you just see that there will be error. So let me just test it and let's see what error comes out. So run a, a Spring Boot app. I'm going to make room in the console so that you can see. Okay, so you can see error that has been created. So, so that is the problem. We are now going to move into the next path. How do we actually create relationships between these entities? Normally in the database it may be easier, but in this case we are trying to use a code provided by JPA to achieve this. And that will really be simple, just simple annotations that we are going to add and that will handle everything. Now, I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and share this video and like it as well. And we'll see you in the next lesson.